Okay, this is a YouTube video on how to use Megastat to construct a confidence interval for two independent mean samples. So here's two independent mean samples. What we have here is basically the number of accidents a driver has um, and uh, average driver has in a given city. And here's 32 cities west of the Mississippi and 32 cities east of the Mississippi. And we want to compare these to see if there's a difference. So we want to construct, and here is the, here it is. So we want to construct an 80% confidence interval for the difference in the mean years between accidents. So these are independent samples. So let's go ahead and do this. So I've already entered the data into here. So I'm using the data. I'm going to use Megastat, and I'm going to come over to. Um, not confidence intervals because there's nothing for independent mean confidence intervals. can only do one mean sample or one proportion sample. Um, but it can do hypothesis tests. We can do it in the hypothesis test. So we are doing two independent groups. So we're going to compare two independent groups. And we're using data input. So the data input. So, so now I'm going to select my data. So let me select my data for group one. Okay, and let me select my data for group two. Okay, and it looks like for some reason I chose the first one. I don't think that matters. Let's see what happens. So, all right, so hypothesis difference doesn't matter. Uh, what we want to do is create a confidence interval. So this is where we want to be. We want to be in unequaled variances. Um, so we're assuming they're unequaled variances. So make sure you're selecting that. And we're displaying the 95, not 95, we're displaying an 80% confidence interval, right? We're constructing an 80% confidence interval. So that's all we need to do. Click OK. Let's see what happens. So here we go. And there's my confidence interval, my upper and my lower confidence interval. So. Let's go ahead and enter this in. So we got um, the lower is negative 1.93. How many digits do I need? One nine. Doesn't really say, does it? And the upper is negative 0 0.7056. So let's try those four decimal places out. Check. Did I get that in right? Yes, I did. Check. Nice. So there's my lower and upper uh, limits for my confidence interval. So that is my confidence interval. Um, so what does this mean? So an insurance company executive claims that the mean number of years between accidents for western cities is 1.5 years greater than the mean for eastern cities. So does the confidence interval contradict this claim? So what does this tell us? What does this confidence interval tell us? This confidence interval tells us we have mu1 denoting the years between accidents in the western cities. And we have mu2 being the years uh, between accidents in the eastern cities. So. Um, and so, so the difference is negative. The difference is negative no matter where I am, whether I'm on the upper part or the lower part, it's negative. The zero is not in here. So we do not have a positive outcome here. So the, and they're claiming the insurance company claims that the mean number of years between accidents of for Western cities is 1.5 greater than the mean for eastern cities, but they're negative. So, so this would tell us that essentially our 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 western cities are lower than our eastern cities. So less than actually. So the confidence interval contradicts this claim. Check. I hope you enjoyed it. Good luck.